just bought myself a Mosenberg 500 because we all know ammunition and firearms are just as important as God's money, silver and gold. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no weddings. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So yes, just to begin this evening, I am showing off two awesome, awesome, awesome coins. Here we have two limited edition Major League rounds. One which honors Hideo Nomo. I have not shown this piece for some time, but yes, you're looking at the first Japan-born Major League Baseball player in 30 years, and he completed his long career in the United States. Nomo signed by the Dodgers in 1995, was the 1995 National League Rookie of the Year, and started the All-Star Game as a rookie pitcher, a rare event. Boom, boom, boom. As I said, both limited. And then here we have the infamous Mark McGuire. And yes, this is honoring him for the most home runs in one season, 70. Considered to this day as the greatest sustained six-month spectacle ever put on by any man in baseball history. And I know what you're saying. Silver Dad knows he's a steroid head. And indeed he was. But before the steroids, still a beast athlete. A lot of these athletes, yeah, it's a, it's a shame. It could, be a, it could be disappointing. You know, some people, they don't disapprove of uh, steroid use. But I want to say in general, most people do disapprove it. But <clears throat> you cannot take away from... The genius of a lot of these athletes before they ever touched uh, steroids to begin with. But anyways, going back to the topic of this video, folks, silver reaching $300 to $500 within the next few years is becoming increasingly probable due to a combination of market fundamentals and diminishing control by long-standing manipulators. For decades, silver's price has been artificially suppressed by large financial institutions through mechanisms like short selling and paper contracts, um, which have kept prices detached from real supply and demand. However, the landscape is shifting and the sheer physical scarcity of silver coupled with skyrocketing industrial demand will force an explosive price correction. The green energy revolution is rapidly accelerating demand for silver, which is um, indispensable in solar panels. You know, solar panels need it. Electric vehicles need it. And electronics in general need silver. Unlike gold, silver is both a precious metal and an industrial metal, making it highly sought after in a world that's increasingly focused on uh, sustainability and technology. Furthermore, silver um, Silver inventories have hit, have hit historically low levels with a significant drawdown in COMEX and LBMA vaults signaling that physical silver is in short supply. As confidence in fiat currencies erodes and inflation persists, silver's appeal as a safe haven asset is only set to increase with central banks continuously printing money, a significant shift toward tangible assets is underway especially among investors seeking to preserve wealth. For these reasons, silver at $300 to $500 is not only feasible, but will prove to be an undervaluation when considering its true intrinsic value. In this context, silver isn't just an investment, it's the trade of a century. Positioned to outperform most assets as these uh, dynamics unfold. The era of artificially cheap silver is ending, and those who understand this will be strategically positioned to, ben to benefit huge, you know, to benefit massively. And uh, real quick, folks, before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out, and this is to my loyal subscriber. I love this comment. There's a comment from the other day, and this is Cutting EJ. We're past the point 
where we should be thinking in terms of dollars. Inflation has eroded the value of the dollar to barely 3% of real value. As an example, a 1964 dime would buy a gallon of regular gasoline in 1964. Full service. Today, if you sell that same dime for the value of the silver it contains, you'll have about um, enough dollars to buy a gallon of gas. In 70 since that dime was struck, the value of that gallon of gasoline hasn't changed, or any other goods and services for that matter. Neither has, um, has silver. What has changed is the value of the dollar. That is the very definition of inflation. When the value of the currency decreases, it takes more currency to purchase the same amount of goods and services, so prices rise. With the dollar hovering near collapse, you simply cannot think in terms of dollars for anything beyond paying your bills and buying groceries. This month, the long-term security of the dollar is gone, and when the dollar finally, inevitably, hits rock bottom, it won't matter how many dollars you have because all of them won't buy you a cup of coffee or a bologna sandwich. A million times zero equals zero, but silver will still have real value. Phenomenal comment. And <clears throat> I really could not agree more with that. And that is why month after month, week after week, I am stacking silver. You know, originally, yes, it was month after month, but now it is week after week that I am purchasing silver. I am stacking silver. I am stacking God's money. And again, you heard me earlier. Come on, folks. Come on. Mosenberg 500. Ammunition, silver, food, water. Stack your pantry. Read your Bible. Because, folks, it's here. It's here. And that is why silver, it's the way to go. It is undoubtedly the way to go at this point. But thank you so much for joining us for another episode. God bless you. God bless your household. And as always, God bless America.